Even with the brand new Tesla Model 3 refresh, there is still one issue in my eyes that has yet to be fully addressed from stock. And this unfavorable Tesla design choice is present whether you have a Tesla Model 3 from 2018 or you literally picked up a brand new one last week. Therefore, this is an upgrade that won't break the bank and one that literally anyone can install and swap around with ease. So without further ado, that upgrade is aftermarket wheel covers. Now, before you tune out the video, let me first explain single-handedly why this has been the best upgrade I have bought on multiple occasions. And don't judge me on the multiple occasions part. In particular, what solution does this upgrade solve, aka where is the flaw in the Tesla stock design that I'm referring to? What other benefits does having a third-party wheel cover have over the stock Tesla Model 3 Aero covers? Plus, if you have a refreshed Tesla Model 3, there's an even better alternative that I want to show you in today's video. Therefore, I've tried and bought a handful of different aftermarket solutions, for which I will show you in today's video in a very straight to the forward, no faff video. If you're interested in adding vital protection to your alloys, potentially increasing efficiency and thus vehicle range, and if you want a super easy and swappable solution to make your Tesla unique from the annoying neighbor across the street, well, this video should hopefully be an insightful video for you. Let's dig in. So where does the issue lie? Well, if you have the 18 inch alloys with the Tesla Aero covers that come standard with the rear wheel drive Tesla Model 3 or the Model 3 long range, congratulations, you have the most efficient stock wheel solution for Tesla EV range. It's an ideal choice as the smaller rims and the prime Aero Focus wheel cover design can have a significant impact on a vehicle's range. And that's purely down to how air passes around the wheel while in motion. And this design, however, comes at a small cost that you're not going to find on a Tesla website, but you might find it plastered all over Facebook or all over Twitter, or should I say X, from fellow Tesla owners. What I'm referring to here is good old fashioned curb brush. Now, being brutally honest, this is 100% down to human error, whether this is you or you're placing blame on someone else, aka your spouse, I I'm not judging here. However, the, the reason I say this is the best upgrade I ever did for my Tesla Model 3 is because it directly fixes the design imperfection element without sacrificing the range element in the process. This stock design imperfection I refer to effectively guarantees some nasty rim damage if you even sniff the curb. I'm not just saying that either, this is because there is two distinct reasons. Well, it's more like one and a half actually. Anyhow, as you can see here, the first being that the edge of the rim protrudes outwards beyond the tie wall, effectively making it an easy and obvious target if or your spouse decide to kiss the curb. The second slash half reason is that the tie wall does not exceed this protruding ring unless you swap your stock tires for a more chunky alternative for which would help relieve the issue for sure. But that is a very costly solution, especially if you still have full treads on your Michelin's or Hanuk tires that come as standard. And let's be honest, that would just be a waste not to use that tread. This is where aftermarket wheel covers can exceed the design efforts over the standard Tesla wheel covers. It's a cost-effective solution I've used personally to hide my existing curb brush, but more importantly, it protects the rims going forwards, all without sacrificing the slick, aero-efficient design. So what are your wheel cover options and where do you buy them and how do you install them? Plus, why the Highland Model 3 has a top-tier solution that is the stealthiest of all solutions that I've seen today. As I mentioned earlier, I've owned a variety of designs for my Tesla Model 3, but my favorite has to be these Uber Turbine Blade Star wheel covers. I've even directly compared the real world range against my other wheel covers that I've used, including the standard Tesla Aero covers, and there'll be more on that later. But my experience of just day-to-day -day driving, your first reaction is always going to be how the wheel cover is gonna look on the car. And if it looks like dog's dinner, it's not worth the effort in swapping it. And I think, at least in my eyes, this is a relatively big improvement over the standard aero wheels. They look somewhat similar to the stock performance with the three 20 inch wheels. These wheel covers extend beyond that protruding rim. So this gives the alloys the protection from future scuffs and impacts. Finally, having tested driving in city driving and long distances, it has very little difference in the range efficiency of the vehicle. Therefore, I feel these turbine style covers are a great all round choice for the Model 3. There's some Amazon links in the description of the video to take you straight to the covers and find out the latest prices today with the Amazon service you know and love. It's also important to note how much cheaper these covers are today from when I first purchased some covers. 
I think I originally paid almost twice as much. So these lower prices make the cost economic solution even more compelling. Let's say you or your spouse, remember, I'm not throwing tree to anyone here, you do hit the curb with the standard Tesla air covers on. It's likely you will do direct damage to the alloy rim. The cost to repair that is going to be the same as a replacement wheel cover. However, if you had one of these covers on, the cover should absorb the impact instead. And this actually happened to me. This impact was me hitting those high curbs in a car park over a year ago now. And all you need to do is simply swap the covers over. It takes minutes to do, but if you try to get a repair on your alloy, that isn't gonna be a quick fix. You've got to call around, get quotes, and then book a convenient time for the repair work itself. It's just way more convenient. If the unexpected does happen, you know, it's only gonna crack your wheel cover. And I will discuss the super easy installation next. However, if you own a Refresh Model 3, you have an even more perfect solution. And this one looks like a copycat of the existing Aero wheels. However, it's extended to protect the rim. Therefore, having the stealthiest of all solutions, but having the protection benefits. The installation will be near identical to what I'm about to show you, but the product link is also in the description of the video. In terms of installing these wheels, the process is almost idiot proof. Removing the tester wheel cover may seem like a Tetris puzzle, but in practicality, there's just a knack of pulling the clips away from the alloy. They all have similar metal clips that grip the cover to the spoke of the alloy itself, and the gentle pull helps the unclipping process. Once you've worked around the wheel, eventually it will pull with ease, and once you've done the first wheel, the others will feel easy. Removing is a five minute job, tops. Insulation is even easier, but first you will generally find that your wheel covers will be provided with insulation tape. And sometimes that does come in two different sizes. The wider one will be for the clips that go around the spoke, so the metal bits, and the thinner insulation tips will go around the inner of the perimeter of the rim for additional protection and to reduce any unnecessary rattles. Once you've installed the tape, it's just a matter of lining up the tire pressure gap accordingly and pushing towards the alloy so the clips can successfully bind around the alloy and the spokes. Once you've applied pressure all around, remember to check the fit. It should sit flush and tight with the alloy and you may even hear a satisfying click noise. If you ever need a replacement wheel cover, you just repeat the removal and installation process for that wheel cover. It really is a neat and cost-effective solution. So before I head over to the conclusion, are there any other alternatives to wheel covers? And if so, what are they and are they effective? And the simple answer is yes. And a full disclosure, I've not tried the alternatives, but these are the reasons why I chose against those alternatives. The first one that comes to mind is alloy gaiters. And these effectively are strips that grip over the exposed part of the rim. And these are cheaper alternatives to wheel covers. But I chose against them for two reasons. The first being insulation involves sort of bashing the clips over the alloy. And I personally just do not feel comfortable using a rubber mallet to install it near the car. The second being the fear of uh, unsecure or a loose strip causing paint damage to the vehicle whilst driving. The potential damage there is going to exceed the cost of the new covers. However, the alternative to this is potentially just getting these professionally installed. And I see it as a great solution for protecting the rims. I don't doubt that but I just much prefer the easier do-it-yourself capable wheel cover solution. You could buy new tires with a chunkier tire wall, but again, that's going to be costly unless you're buying new tires anyway, or you could just not buy any protection. You know, you could risk it. That would require full attention 100% of the time with no lack of concentration when it matters. But for me, the wheel covers just offer a balance of convenience, protection, enhances the look of the car, all without a massive price tag. So to conclude, Having owned multiple different styles, I will definitely be utilizing the cover option because it's a cheap way to upgrade the looks of the vehicle and more vitally, it protects it from curb brush. If I get bored of the look or there is damage to the cover, I can simply buy replacements and swap them over without the need for a third party installer. And this is why it's my favorite Tesla upgrade. And I will be buying these from day one of my next Tesla for this very reason. Therefore, I'm hoping this video has not only helped you be well informed of your upgrade options, but also which of these solutions are more suited to your unique needs and personal circumstances. Don't forget, all these choices are linked in the video description for your ease. So what did you think to today's video? Do you like the look of the wheel covers and are you tempted? Are you hesitant for any reason? And if so, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can help. Anyway, that's it for me this week. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share the video with your friends and family. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.